Welcome to another FileCloud training course. During this training course, we're going to be showing you how to install FileCloud on Linux. The following are the needed requirements to proceed with installation. The compatible operating systems are Ubuntu LTS 16.04 and Ubuntu LTS 18.04. We also support Red Hat Linux and CentOS on version 7.x and Debian Stretch. For CPU, you're going to need a CPU that has 2 GHz dual core or higher for better performance. RAM, you require at least 16 gigs of RAM. Compatible storage, such as NAS SD, hard drive, SAN, NAS, or an S3 bucket. For networking port for inbound and outbound communication, depending on your security preferences, you're going to have to open up port 80 for HTTP or port 443 for HTTPS. To access the admin portal and the user portal, we support the following web browsers, Chrome, Edge, Firefox, or Safari. Now that we've seen all the requirements, let's go ahead for the installation. Before we begin with installation, let's go ahead and review the documentation. By the way, you can review the documentation by accessing getfilecloud.com forward slash support docs. On the search bar, just type installation on Linux distros. The documentation will provide you with further details on how to install the file cloud on your supported Linux distro. Now it is important to mention that the installer must be run as a root user and the installer must not be stopped along the way. Now, over to my right, I have my Linux operating system. We're going to be installing the file cloud. In this case, I'm using Ubuntu 18.04 LTS edition. And on my left side, I have the file cloud documentation. Let's go ahead with step one. For step one, all you got to do is just copy the following URL and paste it on your Linux box. Remember that you must run this as root, so I'm going to be accessing the root user. and paste the script. Now, once done, the file cloud will begin to download the needed dependencies so we can proceed with installation. As you can see with our guide, you're gonna be able to see step-by-step -step all the installation steps that file cloud will provide you. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter to proceed. Click, type okay. And now the file cloud installer will commence. At this point, FileCloud will display all the components it's about to install. You can select or unselect the ones they want installed just by hitting on the space bar to unmark the ones that you do not want installed. And then hit enter. Once done, the FileCloud in Linux installation will detect the operating system that you're running and then will proceed accordingly to install the components. Once done, just hit enter to proceed. At this point, the batch script installation will go ahead and download all the dependencies and needed packages to install the file cloud. This process might take anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes. Now, during this point, the installer will proceed on downloading file cloud. And now we'll proceed on setting up the file cloud doc conversion installation. This capability is what will allow you to convert documents into PDF so you can preview them. As part of its final steps, FileCloud will continue setting up the file folder permissions, followed by the user permissions at scene on the script. And finally, it will proceed on finalizing the installation of FileCloud. Finally, you're going to get a confirmation message that the file cloud installation has completed. Now, now that the file cloud installation has completed, you can access the file cloud control panel from your Linux box by entering the command file cloud cp, which means file cloud control panel. Hit enter. Now, you're going to notice that you have multiple options. Let me go ahead and clean this up a little bit so we can see them better. File cloud cp. There we go. In the future, you're going to be able to use the FileCloud control panel to see the version, check for update, run upgrades, reset the admin password, or install other dependencies as seen on my screen. 
Now, in order to access the admin portal, we go ahead and find the IP of this machine. Perfect. I'm going to proceed on copying the IP. And to access the admin portal, I'm going to paste the IP on the web browser at forward slash and type the word admin. Do keep in mind that you must allow communication for inbound and outbound on port 80 or 443 from the Ubuntu box. Now, the default username and password is admin and the password is password. Now that we're in the admin port, I'm going to go ahead and maximize my screen so we can see all the data. So from here, you're going to have the welcome and wizard, which you can close or if you decide to see it. And you're going to require it to install your trial license. In this scenario, to install your trial license, you're going to have to access your customer portal. To obtain access to the customer portal, you must register for a trial. Upon registration, you're going to be receiving your credentials to log into the customer portal. In this case, I'm going to sign in. And once done, you can click on Begin Trial so that you can access your license. In this scenario, I've already downloaded my license. I'm just going to go ahead and hit Install License and choose the file. Select my license file, click Hit Open, then Apply. Once done, my file call will be updated and I'm going to be able to see that I see now the license owner, expiration date, and the total number of users. You have successfully installed FileCloud on Linux at this point. Congratulations on completing this FileCloud training course. You will now be able to install FileCloud on Linux. If you need any assistance or support, feel free to reach out to our support team at support at If you would like to inquire about our pricing and related items, feel free to reach out to our sales team at sales at And if you would like to further review your documentation, feel free to access it at getfilecloud.com forward slash support docs. See you in our next training course.